What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here, and today alongside iOS 9.0.1, Apple did also release iOS 9.1 Beta 2 and Public Beta 2 as well for uh, 9.1. So in this video, I wanna cover what's new because there is a new feature, and yes, I do put emphasis on one new feature in iOS 9.1, and basically I wanna tell you guys how it is. So a lot of people have been noticing performance updates, you know, it feels much more fluid, much better, so I'm gonna be comparing that real quick on the 5 and 4S to 9.0. So I just want to give you guys a good idea about 9.1 beta 2, what's new, how it performs, and basically how you should update if you want to. So anyways, the new feature that I did mention is in the messages right here. So now you have an option to show contact photo. So basically what this is, when you disable it, you will no longer see other people's contact photos up here in the messages. And this is pretty much just, you know, to make it cleaner, but I honestly don't see why you wouldn't want it. I mean, I love the look of the contact photos, but you know, it's a good option for whoever ever wanted that I don't see why they would add it, but it is there. Now, namely, I was 9.1. The biggest change in 9.1 is the addition of a ton of new emojis. So I'm actually gonna, <laughs> nice, there's my old drawing. So I'm actually uh, gonna show you guys real quick. There's a ton of new emojis and the middle finger emoji. You know, there's a lot of good stuff in here. There's a lot of new animals. There's a dragon now. Man, a curly dragon. I mean, in my other video, I showed you there's over 80, so close to 100 new emojis in 9.1. Unfortunately, we did not get them in 9.0, but 9.1 is gonna be launching with the new iPad Pro, and it's probably gonna be launching in November, but we might expect it sooner than that because Apple's gonna wanna make a lot of updates to iOS 9. It's just buggy, you know, it's not really there yet. So now I wanna go ahead and test the performance and see if iOS 9.1 beta 2 got any more fluid because personally, in my testing, I couldn't see a difference in 9.1 from 9.0. Anyways, let's get to it. All right, so iOS 9.1 is on the right, and I'll go ahead and show you guys that real quick. Man, on the iPhone 4S, I don't really know if Apple should have updated it to iOS 9. It's just not been the same. So that's a new build number of 9.1 beta 2. And let me go ahead and show you guys how this performs. Now, clear out the app switcher, and let's launch the app store. So the animations honestly seemed a little bit smoother on 9.1 beta 2. Uh, loading times are still atrocious on the 4S. Yeah, I've been waiting for like 30 seconds already, still not loading, oh my gosh. And it's definitely not my internet. Anyways, so let's try settings. So just about the same. It seems like it's a little bit more fluid. Let's try opening the app switcher. So equally pretty smooth, I would say. Um, 9.1 in general just feels a little smoother in animations. Look at that. So 9.1 beta 2 definitely loaded that faster. Control center pops up quicker on it. Look at that, so definitely. Definitely, I noticed the difference in animations on the 4S from iOS 9.0.1 to 9.1 Beta 2. All right, let's do the same on the iPhone 5. All right, so on the iPhone 5, I have iOS 9.1 on the right and 9.0.1 of the latest actually released firmware on the left. So I'm gonna give you guys a good idea how it performs on a slightly newer device as well. First off, let's launch settings. So nearly identical. In general, the fluidity, it really is a lot better on 9.1. So uh, they're both great. However, 9.1 just seems a little bit smoother when launching applications or getting into the app switcher. And it's definitely more apparent when you have a lot of stuff on your device. Well, anyways, let's try maps. So 9.0.1 had a slight advantage there. All right, so that's just about it. iOS 9.1 performance did improve just a little bit, and it's not all that noticeable unless you get into the older device, but it definitely is more fluid. All right, so how do we install iOS 9.1 beta 2? Well, if you already have the first beta installed, it's just as simple as going into general software update, and you'll see the update in here. Now, if you guys have the public beta 1 installed, you're gonna wanna remove the profile. You'll see the public beta 1 profile in here, delete it, restart your phone, and then go back into here you should see the second software update. And if you guys wanna install it and you don't have it at all, I'll have the download links down below in the description. So 9.1 beta 2 improves the fluidity on older devices. It's not so much apparent on the newer ones, but the stutter I've noticed is removed in 9.1 beta 2. So that's some great progress and there's one, one new feature and those new emojis. So that's all around great. Now what surprised me was that not only in 9.0.1 did Apple not fix it, Apple didn't fix the lock screen bypass in 9.1 beta 2 either. It's as if they're not 
aware of it yet, but they probably will get to it. It's just a matter of time. You know, it's just surprising. Usually Apple's on top of that real quick and 9.1 is going to be a while away. So we're definitely going to be expecting 9.0.2 soon to fix that. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope I give you a good idea about 9.1 beta 2. Gave you some hope that the stutter and lag will be fixed eventually. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. I was 9.1 beta 2 is going to be coming out in the next couple of months. So we'll be able to enjoy a faster device then. Peace.